What is going on? It's been about three weeks since I've uploaded and to be quite honest with you, that's three weeks way too long. And it's actually, it's bright. I, I need the glasses, I'm sorry. So what I want to do today is basically just go out and do a car photography shoot. And it's early morning now, so I just want to go out and scout the locations so I can shoot the actual photographs tonight. So it'll be a lot more impactful. And that's what we're gonna do, man. Let's get to it. Actually, that reminds me, I don't believe I've shown you my new car. Oh, come on, Nancy, use your indicator. This is the location that I'd like to shoot in. I like that sort of almost underground feel in a way, but you're still getting those lights in and hopefully these lights here tonight then will also be on. The only problem is I hope that all these, all these cars aren't here tonight because I don't necessarily want any other vehicles in this shot at all. I just wanted the focus to be purely on the car that I'm shooting, which is my car. So hopefully tonight when we come back, this place will be relatively empty, hopefully fully empty. And these lights up overhead will be on because I feel like this would just be a really cool shot to take at nighttime. Whoa. Hold on, this could be really sick. <laughs> oh my God. This place could be really, really cool. What I love is I love the lights up above. I love how it's there's actually orangey, glowy, sort of neon lights over here. And sort of like a, I would almost describe it as a teal and orange type of color. But it's really, really sick looking. Like even look at those sort of colors that are coming down on my face here. It's really, really nice. This could be something that is really, really sick. This is a location I'm definitely hoping to shoot in tonight. So basically tonight's location could be hit or miss. We could get it, we could not get it. But you know what, all we gotta do is try. All we gotta do is try. Indicator? Jesus fuck. This is sort of good and bad. This area that I have right behind me here is the area I was hoping to have completely clear of cars because it's this area up here I was hoping to shoot at, but the lights are completely off up there, which means that's a no-go. And we might even have this area right here behind me. I mean, there is a nice landscape of the city behind us as well, so that wouldn't be too bad. It's something we could try. So I've gotten a few shots of that side there, but they are decent shots. I just don't know if they're the shots that I really, really want. So I'm gonna try over on this side here just to see if I can get any reflection on the windscreen of that light because hopefully the car will be somewhat directly underneath it. And hopefully it might just give us a better shot in the end. Okay guys, let's be honest. This looks a little bit stupid, doesn't it? I mean like, Look at that trash going down the wall there and there and it just, it just doesn't sit well with me. I don't know. Is it a good shot or is it not? I don't like it. I ain't doing it. So location number one was decent. It was all right. I'm quite happy with a few of the shots. On to location number two. 
How are you doing? Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. I don't want 5,000 euro fine now. No, no, and I don't want to go to court, so. <laughs> Perfect, thanks very much, pal. Take care. Well, that was an exciting one. Time to see if our second location is open. Damn it. It's not open. That is like a real pain in the ass now. This is the one location where I really did want to film. Damn, I'm really annoyed now that that's closed. All right, so before we get onto the photos, I just want to say that this is something that I'm, I've been thinking about starting up for a while. Basically, it's another way for me to up my photography level, go out and take different types of shots, and basically, it's also a way to make content as well, and I find that that's really good for both sides. So, this is my first time shooting any type of car whatsoever, and it was a fun experience, as as sort of challenging as it was, it was a very fun experience in the end. So let's get on and see how the pictures look. All right, so let's start off the mediocre ones. So this is one of the photos that I actually took in the side of the car park where I said I didn't actually want to shoot because I didn't think it looked that great at all. And this photo actually didn't turn out too bad. I actually put a graduated filter at the bottom of the picture so I can darken out the, the road and the tarmac a little bit. So I can put more focus on the actual car instead. And then another graduated filter up at the top right of the image to add a little bit more of an extra light source as well as the natural light that's there anyway. I love the, the little bit of a bokeh that we have at the left of the city in the far distance. And that's actually really nice. I do wish that there was no railings and barriers there, but hey, look, man, what can you do? Now, this is another one where most of the car is actually shaded out. And that's sort of what makes me dislike this image a little bit more than the rest of them. It's still not the worst of all the pictures I took that night. But at the same time, I don't like the way the, the back of the car is very shaded out. I wish there was another light source on that side. Or realistically, what I could have really done was just turn the car the other way. And I could have made sure that the side of the car was also lit from the lights that are on the right hand side of the image as well. But... The way it turned out isn't actually too bad. Again, I added a graduated filter. I actually lightened up the car a little bit and made, made it a little bit more of a silvery sort of tone. So I took out some of the saturation because some of those light sources were giving it this orangey yellow tint. And I didn't think that suited in the actual scene there at all. But all in all, it's actually not a bad image. But onto the best image, I believe, of that area of that night. I actually really love this image, purely because the composition of it is so, so good in my opinion. That little bit of water that I put on the ground to reflect some of the, the lights, that actually dried in a little bit and it actually turned out really, really nice because you can get some of that shine from the headlight in the ground, but I've also darkened out the ground as well so I can put more focus on the car itself. The way you have the wheels turned, the way the car is angled itself. I love that it just, it gives me this feeling of this is a boss car, even though it's, it's man, it's only a Toyota Corolla. Like, it's nothing special. This is the best image that I took that night, in my opinion. So I really love the outcome of this, especially that shine that comes out of the headlight at the bottom onto the tarmac. Now, remember that car park that I actually went to as the second location? That was shot. Well, I decided to sort of not give up on that and I actually went back this morning, which is the morning after I, I went there and it was closed. I did want to get some of the shots from there because as you could see, it did have this lovely orangey glow from the lights above and I thought that, that looked really, really cool. So these are some of the pictures from this morning. I took a close up shot of the grill of the car at the very front of the Toyota symbol itself. One of the great things I love about this image is that nice bokeh of the orange uh, light at the top right of the image in the background where it's blurred out. I love that bokeh. I've actually brought down the shade of the car itself a little bit, the shell of the car, but I did bring up the shade and the brightness of the actual symbol itself, the Toyota symbol. So I wanted to make that stand out. And the other photo as well, it's at a 45 degree angle, so I do love that the orangey neon lights do give it a little bit of a warm tint to the car as well. Again, I took out some of the saturation of the car because I didn't want the car to look 
too orangey or too golden at all. I wanted that actual silver color to just punch through. So that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the pictures. I'm gonna be posting those up on Instagram, so do go check out my channel. And I'd like to continue this series into something that would really bring out more photography skill in me and bring out better photography in general onto my Instagram page. And it also creates good content as well for YouTube. So expect more of this type of stuff, not necessarily car photography, but we will venture out into other avenues of photography as well. Photography, photography. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, make sure to hit that bell as well so you get notified as to when I upload. Until next time guys, I will see you soon. Peace.